honestly, this is fucking awesome. With all the other YouTube channels covering Steam Proton's layer, compatibility layer for Linux, and AMD's opening for support for the games running on Steam so that they actually run better than they used to in the past, I thought now was a really good time to kind of revisit this long-term goal that I've had regarding using Linux as a desktop operating system. Let's be honest, one of the biggest problems with Linux has always been the driver support. It is crippled the system's use for desktop uh, operating system market share for the last 10-15 years. Now I use Linux a lot in a server environment. I use it at work, I use it here in the home lab. I'm really used to its background environment but for most people Linux still sits within a spectrum of computing that just is not approachable. The user interface in the past wasn't really great, especially for new users. The inclusion of new drivers is a huge deal. Obviously the Steam Deck is a big push for support on the AMD platform for games running on Steam. However, this does open up a huge potential. So AMD's opening up of their drivers uh, for Linux is massive and Steam's compatibility layer, Proton, has led to a huge rise. In the past, I've used Linux as a desktop environment alongside Windows. Uh, I use Mac as well, mostly as a production machine. For gaming and stuff like that, for daily use, I've always used Windows, but I've wanted to switch over to Linux for a long time. So now that we have one of the biggest hurdles uh, potentially that we can get over, which was graphics drivers, perhaps now is a really good time to revisit this kind of long-standing thing where I could get rid of Windows. Obviously, it couldn't really come at a better time. Windows 11 looks like to be quite a disaster regarding operating system releases for Microsoft. The performance degradation and various other like bad news that surrounded that means that probably now is a good time to look at switching if everything runs smoothly. One of the biggest things for me has been gaming. If I cannot game, then it's not going to work. If the performance drop is too bad in the past with Wine, which Proton is based on, but in the past had a massive overhead. And that has gotten better in previous years, but Proton is something special. It really is uh, quite remarkable on how much or how little overhead it has on performance. I wanted to be able to transfer over to Linux full time. Now in the past, what I've done is run Linux on a USB stick or another operating system like hard drive, like an SSD and being like, okay, this will be fine. And I can just jump backwards and forwards. But the problem is when you have Linux and Windows, if you have this fallback, then what will happen is that when you run into your first roadblock, your first hurdle with Linux, you're going to default right back to Windows. And for me, that's not acceptable. The fact is that the driver support is there now. In this video and future videos regarding this, I am now recording this without any Windows computer at all. My computer runs Manjaro Linux, which is an Arch-based distribution full-time. And the biggest uh, thing for me was if it can game, then I'm probably better gonna get by with everything else. My first video is going to be about Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, it's one of the games I play the most. I'm going to test it out on Linux and see how well it goes. But I don't have a Windows backup partition to go to. I wiped all of the stuff from it. I backed up my documents, put it on a separate NAS drive, and now I have no Windows installation. So when I run into a hurdle, if I run into a, a, a roadblock of some kind, then I must resolve it. With all the other channels covering this, the big question for everyone to ask is why should my content matter to you? One of the biggest reasons is that I'm a very small channel. So my uh, ability to test with lots of high grade professional equipment isn't there. I'm an everyday user. So I'm testing it based on how I'm living normally. I go to work, I come home, I don't have like a whole studio, I don't have professional equipment that I can use to test and benchmark performance of the computer. What I can do is test real world performance. How is it living with this? When I get home from work, starting it up, does it feel good? Does it run well? Can I install the programs I need to within a short time without spending a whole weekend in the command prompt or terminal to get something working? It's kind of on a real world, real person's perspective. If we can answer a question of is Linux smoother than Windows now, then it should be very exciting to find the answer out. I hope you're gonna enjoy this set of videos. 
Um, it's going to be a really interesting journey and this could be a very exciting time 2021, 22 for Linux, uh, especially for gaming, uh, but definitely on the adoption of the desktop landscape. I think it should be really, really good. I'm going to go and have a look at Elder Scrolls Online on Manjaro Linux. Here we are on my uh, desktop. Um, as you can see, this is just the desktop. It's an installation of Manjaro Linux. Nothing else fancy. A few widgets on the side uh, just to tell me the performance of the computer. Uh, Linux is pretty customizable like this. All that I've done with this computer is install a different web browser, which is Brave, Discord, uh, because we need that, and Steam was included already, and then I've installed OBS Studio for the purpose of recording videos and streaming. So now we are going to open up Steam here, and go to my library, and as you can see, all of my stuff shows up here. So click on Elder Scrolls, hit play, and then we'll pop into the game and have a look. Here we are, uh, loaded into the game. Now, I've been playing Elder Scrolls Online for quite a long time, um, and for the last one to two weeks, I have been playing uh, on this platform, on Linux, to really kind of give this a test. Honestly, the performance is just absolutely incredible. Um, I'm recording this in the highest quality that I can. I mean, I'm just gonna run through here and we'll have a little travel round and uh, have a look um, and it's just been really great this works really great in pvp as well so as you can see here if i go to settings and video i have it set to ultra settings i'm going to drop the audio down just a little bit um, and as you can see here um, i mean everything looks really crisp and really sharp despite playing this for about two weeks um, honestly this is fucking awesome, like the fact that we can play um, like these kind of games uh, on Linux now is honestly just a really big game changer. Um, I don't think that the uh, you can underestimate the importance of this step when it comes to Linux because uh, drivers have been the main issue for Linux for a long time. This is just incredible. Um, so, I mean, I don't get any real performance drop. Everything works as it should do, as you would expect. But even though I shouldn't really be surprised, I still am. Uh, this is, it's because it's been such a long time that we've been waiting for something like this. At most, I'm probably getting one to 2% minus drop in performance, that's about it. It's not noticeable at all. Um, I think that honestly, my system runs a lot better running this game. The only difference with the installation on uh, Linux compared to Windows was I had to hit the enter key a couple of times to get the accept button on the EULA agreements to to kind of show properly. I mean, look, I'm running around in this uh, in the in Vivek right now, and Elder Scrolls Online is a very complicated game. Um, a lot of online stuff. Remember the anti cheat systems and everything else. It's very complicated, and I've done nothing to this system nothing i have installed no drivers and i mean not one i haven't done any special tweaks i haven't even installed the special optimized versions of proton i literally just opened up steam clicked install elder scrolls online and that's what it's been like for the last two weeks like this so i mean i've done nothing i can imagine with optimizations you could get this to go even better but the fact is that i'm getting above 60 fps on 144 hertz all the time. I play in Cyrodiil with hundreds of players. I'm still getting above 60 FPS all the time. Um, if you're interested in checking out that, I have a Twitch channel under the same name, uh, under the name Robert Meisen, the same as the YouTube channel, uh, where I casually play Elder Scrolls online. I don't stream uh, professionally for gaming. It's a casual enjoyment thing. But if you want to head over there and see what it's like when I am streaming Elder Scrolls online, then you'll see. Here we are. This is, this is it. So uh, now my journey to to dealing with this uh, is complete in terms of adopting Linux as uh, my main gaming machine now. So now I can say that my Mac Pro is my editing machine and my PC is now a gaming machine entirely run on Linux and before it was Windows. Let's not forget some very key, uh, very key port of information for uh, for Windows. When you actually have Windows, and you're going to um, 
install some games or install a new piece of hardware, you've got to install drivers for it to work, to be honest at all. In some cases, the default drivers are just not adequate for gaming. Uh, you need to install the dedicated drivers. And AMD released their drivers for the Linux kernel, um, and they're embedded into the latest kernels. I mean, so you could say <laughs> to a certain degree that this system is more ready to be used like by your grandma than it is to be used by like on windows for example um after this installed i had no stupid boxes popping up asking me to do loads of stuff i'm definitely going to cover the installation of linux and uh, optimizations as we go forward but i mean i was up and running on this way faster um and although i am used to linux i'm used to server operating environments of linux and i'm used to uh terminal commands and um, remote desktop type of issue rather than um, desktop use like this so yeah um i just wanted to show this uh this is going to be part of these sets of videos where we are going to go through adopting more software into linux and how this is actually running as i mentioned in the video before this is about real world use and um, I've been gaming on this for the last couple of weeks. If you want to see more uh, gaming stuff from Elder Scrolls Online, you can head over to Twitch to look at that. But if you want to see uh, some more stuff from this, then remember like and subscribe to the video because I will do uh, more software tutorials and adoption uh, tutorials uh, to move over things full time to Linux. I hope this little quick look has been uh, interesting for you uh, because for me, um, it's been like, honestly, I'm still surprised. I don't know why I am still surprised, um, uh, but I still am. I mean, just so you can see, if I close this all down, I mean, obviously the system itself is quite um, a high-end system, but um, if I go to the system information here, you can see running the latest kernels under Mandara Linux, got the processor here, 3900X, 32 gig of RAM and the 5700 XT. If you do like this uh, kind of content, if you are excited to see what is coming, I do recommend following the channel and liking the video if you do like it. Of course, this definitely helps me, but hopefully it will help you as well. Uh, because if you are on the fence about jumping over to Linux, then hopefully my content will help you answer that question.